Hi. Hey, it's Aisha. Okay, so this is kind of just more like an update video about like the art merch video I made previously before. And I kind of just wanted to go into a few different like realms because I actually started the video before I did anything with those uh, pieces that I had made and like kind of dissecting. And at this point um, in January 2023, I had already done a convention. So I went to Ichiban Con. I didn't go as a artist alley participant. I went as like a part of the crafts fair that they do, which is basically allows like people who aren't really sure if they're ready to dedicate like a lot of money and time to the artist alley to figure out if they really want to do something like that. Um, unfortunately, I only went for one day, so I didn't make like that much money, but it did give me a better idea of like, how to sell at a convention like that, an anime convention, especially because of the type of work that I make isn't really like fan art or really pertain to anything anime related. It's really just pieces of my own work, which I had some positive feedback and some negative feedback. Um, and I kind of just wanted to talk about that a little bit. And I think I also was working on other stuff. So this video will be just like a compilation of all the stuff I've done so far. Um, which will be interesting and I'll probably like split this up into different parts so like the next thing you might see is not me talking about my experience at the convention but something okay so I went to Ichiban Con and I had a pretty good experience I would say I did break but like I didn't even break even I actually got a little bit of money out of like going to that convention just for that one day and then like a few hours which was good um i was expecting to at least break even which was really my goal and i pretty much hit it um i didn't make that much money but it was like encouraging i would say um most of what I did at that convention was basically pass out like business cards because a lot of people did look at my work, but it didn't seem they were very like receptive to paying for it. And I think that a lot of, because it was like Thursday, the Thursday of a convention, which Thursday is literally the first day if you've ever been to an anime convention, it's probably going to be like maybe the slowest day. Um, Friday is really where it gets heavy. And then Saturday, Saturday is the big day because everybody will be there. Um, and then Sunday, it like kind of just like tapers off and it's like a lot more chill and relaxed. I could not afford to buy another ticket to go to the next day. Um, so I only had a, enough money to buy one day, which was Thursday. And I think that craft fair is supposed to be only on Thursday. But like when I look back at the schedule, it was on like Friday too, which I didn't know that. So if I had known that, I would have definitely had set myself up so I could be on the, be there for both days but on the website it says that it's only for Thursday but then on the schedule it said it was for Friday I don't know but next time I will definitely do the artist alley instead because I kind of got an idea of what I want to do and the feedback that I got that was positive was actually reassuring especially because like I said I don't sell fan art I don't make a lot of fan art um, fan art really isn't my thing. Like, I do make some fan art. I recently made a, like a time lapse video. It's not really fan art as much as like OC art, but it's kind of in that same vein. And I've done fan art before. It's just like not the main thing I go to. It takes a lot of energy for me to want to redraw a character in my own style. It just doesn't look good to me, and that's why I don't really do it that often. I did like do some for like, obviously I did Alex um and martyr mystery from like totally spies and martyr mysteries which i really like that show and when i watched like the movie that was like a mashup of the two i really enjoyed it so that's why i did fan art of that but like it's very rare um for me to really do fan art and i really don't feel comfortable doing that for a convention either because i just don't care like it's a lot of energy and time to put into something that i just like the stuff that I really, really like, I don't think it would sell as well. Like I like Dino Girl. I do like Totally Spies and I like Scooby-Doo and all this other stuff, but this is an anime convention. So like a lot of this like anime shows that I really, really like, I don't really want to make fan art of. I just enjoy re reading it and 
looking at it, I don't want to draw them. Um, so <laughs> a lot of people did come up to me and was like, I really like your art. It's like really good. Um, it's really interesting that you're selling like works that aren't like merch, like anime merch and stuff like that. Like that's actually refreshing. And I was happy to hear those things because I obviously was very concerned about my ability to be able to sell some of the pieces that I made or brought. Some of the pieces that I brought, I've already like shown in other videos. I brought my paper dolls. I brought uh, some prints, some old prints that like I um, hadn't, like some old inventory, some old stock. Um, I also brought uh, my art books and I brought, what else? Oh, the keychains. <laughs> I brought the keychains as well. Keychains sold really well, which was nice. I knew they would, they're really good. Um, and I also sold a few art books, which is nice as well. I think I sold about like one print. I also had made stickers and they didn't sell at all. I feel like the design probably wasn't that good and that's why people didn't want the stickers that much or maybe they couldn't just read what was on the sticker sheet. I have a habit of like over doing designs because I like to layer it with lots, a lots of stuff. And this is like the first time I really didn't try to overly layer the background design, but I wish I had because I don't really like design. I still like the stickers, but I wish I had done more with it. It just doesn't feel like me unless I just do the most. <laughs> so I'm hoping to be able to sell some of those stickers in the future. I have an online store now, like I have like two I have my coffee and I have a big cartel and those will be like down below like if you want to look at that or if you want to buy something from me. I have other stuff I've made. I'm also, I also realized like the paper dolls, I really do want to try to make them magnetize. One of the things that did irk me a little bit when I was at the convention because everyone else was nice, super chill, everyone was very nice and polite. Just a few people weren't. <laughs> um, Two different older women both remar mar uh, remarked about how like my stuff was overpriced or that I didn't do it correctly. Like I didn't do my paper dolls correctly. Um, I'm going to describe both of them in a certain way because they were both kind of rude. Um, and I don't feel like their commentary was coming from a nice place. But I also feel like I could upgrade the paper dolls. I do agree that I can do a little bit better instead of making them just paper. I can make them into magnets and then you like kind of pop them out like the paper dolls that I do remember. I know there are paper dolls, but I also remember having paper dolls that were magnetized. And I thought that was really cool because you could just slap on the clothes and like they don't really tear up as easily as a paper as paper does. So I wanted to really try to upgrade it eventually, but obviously that costs a lot of money to turn a whole print into a magnet. My other option is turning into puffy stickers, which has been quite difficult finding a manufacturer to do that. Like I'm not even at the point where I can afford to pay for a manufacturer. I just want to find one so I can understand how much it would cost to get like a small quantity. Like even if it's just a hundred, I feel like I would put the money in to make a hundred of those because I feel like they would sell really well. But it's really hard to find a manufacturer um, for puffy stickers custom made, like not even made by like any other company or whatever. So yeah, that's, you know, that was the only thing that I would say like was actually annoying to me um, at the convention, but that was like two people out of like maybe 20 people that I saw in that one day or like in a few hours. Um, other than that, I had a great time. I think everybody who like came to my table, um, everybody who like was very kind to me, even the people who were sitting next to me who were selling stuff, very sweet people, very nice people. I really enjoyed my experience there. It was very chill. Um, thank you to everyone who was like, your work is great. Like keep at it, you're doing great. I was like, thank you, thank you. You really helped my self-esteem because I was anxious when i say i was anxious i was so anxious um i wasn't really sure if what i was making was worth anything and like i have a lot of struggles with that and that really helped my self-esteem 
um, I'm going to keep trying with like selling these works. Um, I'm basically like kind of rebuilding my social media. I mentioned this before on my um, my Instagram is gone of gone video. Like I really don't have a strong media presence outside of Instagram. So now that that's gone, I have to kind of rebuild a lot and I have to work really hard at it. And that's what I've been doing these last couple of weeks. Um, and it's been stressful, but I'm working on it. I think the only reason why it's so stressful for me is that I don't currently, I'm not currently working right now um, for health reasons and also to give myself an opportunity to try doing more freelance artwork. And I'm not sure if it's going to work out or not. I mean, it could or it can't, I don't know. But right now I'm, I feel like I'm in a position where I can make those choices. And I've been working at it really hard, trying to get myself out there, trying to get more work um, on my Twitter, which I've really been trying to push a lot more, even though you know Twitter is Twitter is a thing right now. It's, it's struggling, but I push myself a little bit more on Twitter to post and like to talk about different stuff. Well, I don't really talk on Twitter. I mostly just post art. I don't really like the idea of talking on Twitter because Twitter stresses me out so many like opinions and I you know I'm like 26 I know how the internet works and I understand that but I don't like Twitter for that reason there's too many opinions and it makes me uncomfortable to try to share on that platform because of how toxic it can really be so I mostly just talk about my art or like post about like the videos that I'm coming out like all oh, this video has been posted today let me tell everybody that it's coming out um, but on Tumblr, if you want to have a conversation, I'm there for you. Tumblr, I am going to be more willing to be talkative. Um, if you don't have a Tumblr, I'm considering making another Instagram, which, yeah, <laughs> this is a big deal for me because it hurts my pride to actually go back to this company after they burn me so badly. But I feel like for the sake of my own business, I need to have an Instagram because a lot of people are on there still, despite the fact that they delete accounts. So I'm going to restart uh, having like an Instagram. Um, it'll probably have a, like a very different name than the name of this channel because obviously that I can't use that same name for my Instagram again. So I have to make something else. But yeah, uh, I will. I'm on social media. I have social media. I have also a coffee, which I do update a lot about. If like, I'm assuming like, a lot of people don't know. If I don't talk about it on this YouTube channel, y'all not gonna know. But I do have a game I'm making in the works. Like I'm making a visual novel, and I'm really excited about working on it. Right now, it's in a very like basic state i do have the coding done i do have like designs i'm redesigning a lot of the characters right now and considering redesigning some of the backgrounds but i'm hoping that it comes out and it's good it's not i'm not like selling it or anything like that it's just a free-to-play game um just basically getting my foot in the door in terms of game design i've never really been that interested in game design like that but I feel like it would be fun to try making a visual novel. I've been playing a lot of visual novels and I just think it would be kind of cool to like get into that and like make my own stories um, in a different way than like animating it or just drawing it or doing comics. And I'm hoping to do more like experimental stuff, like just jumping into different places. Um, I'm not really trying to like have anything be consistent this year. I'm going to be trying everything. I just think that it would be more fun for me. Um, so I will like, I haven't made a video about this process that I'm going through with it, but I have made a devlog on my coffee and my Tumblr. And if you'd like to see that, you know, it's out there. It's, uh, it's already out there, like from where I am right now, that's already been posted. And if you want to see more of that, just follow me on my Tumblr or my coffee. I don't talk about the devlog on my Twitter account. But I have mentioned a few times that I am working on a visual novel, so I will post updates, like pictures of the stuff I've been doing on my Instagram, but that's like about it. I'm not on my Instagram, sorry, my Twitter, and that's about it. 
But yeah, I'll be making a new Instagram. I'm working on a visual novel and I also will still be creating more merch and more art to, for you guys to enjoy. I am considering making another, um, another video for the artist market and that will take a while. Those, that, those type of videos do actually take me a bit. Also because I'm low on funds right now, I can't really make too many more art merch videos or art market videos. Um, just because like money is a factor when I buy that stuff, it actually does cost quite a bit. Um, and it takes time to build up money the way I am right now. So if you like to buy a commission or something like that, that would help, but I'm no pressure. I, I'm hoping that things will work out. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous, but yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, thank you for all those who have commented on my previous videos and people who have subscribed. I know I don't talk that much or reach out or like really comment on the videos, but I've actually looked at the comments recently and liked it, a lot of them. Um, I just feel nervous about comments and that's an anxiety that I have to really work on. Even though there's like, it's all positive. Like, thanks, <laughs> you know, thanks for like, talking or just talking to me or reaching out to me or just even like watching my videos I appreciate all of that I do put I try to put the best my best foot forward when I'm making these videos they don't come out perfectly all the time but I am proud of what I make so thank you guys for listening and watching and enjoying all right bye